Good afternoon, I am Oleg Kovalev. We are in the workshop of Resource Company, where we have been finalizing our tuk-tuk for a week. The tuk-tuk which is being prepared for the contest. I have a lot of experience with electric vehicles, particularly tuk-tuks. The first tuk-tuks were developed here in Russia, in the Midlands. Tuk-tuks were used to transport plants for sale, as recreational vehicles and for transporting small-sized cargo. The concept of the first tuk-tuks was that we just remove the gasoline or diesel motor, put an electric motor and leave everything else in place. In the process of operation, we found out that the acid battery, which was originally installed on the gasoline motor, turned out to be unnecessary. We are now removing it to make it lighter in weight. A tuk-tuk in India has also been modified to suit their weather conditions and their requirements. Due to the knowledge and experience we have gained in developing the tuk-tuks, we are increasing the solar panel area to increase the reception of sunlight and accumulate more electricity while riding. And we have slightly increased the capacity of the battery packs. Why just a little bit? Why not a lot? Based on the rules that exist this year, participants are actually guided in this direction. Too much battery capacity will not be an advantage this year. Because last year, participants were allowed to carry any number of solar panels and scatter them on the ground at a stop. But now it is forbidden. Solar panels can only be on a vehicle now. The vehicle must not touch the ground or other objects while charging from the sun. Only stand on its own wheels. And you can't even have props under the solar panels that will rest on the ground. I was watching our competitors. Almost all of them go the way of increasing the solar panel area to actually drive on solar power and use the battery only as a damper. When you have to give away a little more energy than the solar panels can give away, the energy will be taken from the battery, and when you stop, it goes back to charge again. But too big a battery will result in an unacceptable increase in weight. And this week we reduced our mass as much as possible. We threw out everything unnecessary. And we replaced the frame where we used to have two panels. Now we are going to have six panels there. And also, given that we will be driving in high outside temperatures, around plus 40 degrees Celsius, sometimes higher, we put a cooling fan on our electric motor. Of course, we understand that the way will not be easy. And we calculated a lot in order to, firstly, fit into the rules, and secondly, achieve the best results. And according to our calculations, when the sun shines, we will be able to move at a speed of about 35-40 km per hour. At the same time, we will be able to stand on charge for not too long, because our battery capacity is not very high. We will have to compete with our colleagues. They are just as enthusiastic about electric vehicles as we are. Not only will there be competition among the participants, but also among the concepts as a whole. This is the concept I just told you about. There will also be three bicycles, they will use physical energy and solar energy. These are electric bicycles with pedals and solar panels. Today we installed a new frame on our solar panel to Tuk Tuk and we are starting tests. And you'll hear about the results a little later. But we'll see what else happens during the run. I'm sure it will be interesting.